There are three logical operators in JavaScript. There is the AND, the OR, and the NOT. In my previous JavaScript videos, I've explained the AND and the OR, and I would leave links to them in the video description if you want to check them out. But in this video, I'll be simplifying the NOT logical operator in JavaScript. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. I explain different things in JavaScript, HTML, CSS, all around the web. And like I said in this video, I'll be using examples to show you how the NOT operator works in JavaScript. So let's get to it. The NOT operator is used for negation. This operator negates a value by returning the opposite boolean of that value. If that value is a boolean true, the NOT operator would return false. And if the value is a boolean false, the operator would return true. And if the value is not a boolean, type of coercion would occur where the value would first be converted to a boolean context and the NOT operator would return the opposite. So I'll be using these examples here to explain. I have value one, which is true, and I have value two, which is false. So let's say I want to say console log and then the NOT operator, and then I have value one. If I come here and I run this file, you can see that value value one is true but by using the not operator it returns the opposite in a boolean context and the opposite of true is false if i change this here to value two value two here is false the not operator would return the opposite which is true now what if we had another value let's say value three which is a string i'll keep this as an empty string for now and then we want to use the not operator let's say console log not operator value three so what happens here is that type coercion would occur and like i explained in my previous JavaScript video type coercion is the automatic conversion of a value from one type to another. If you want to learn more about type coercion, you can check the video. I'm going to leave a link to that in the video description. And this operator expects a boolean, but since we are providing a string here, then this string will first be coerced to a boolean context. Then this not operator can be used. So an empty string converted to a boolean value is false, and then using a not operator on that false is going to return true, and we can very verify that by running this file you can see this is true let's say this is number zero also number zero converted to a boolean type is false using the not operator is also going to return true and let's say number 20 and number 20 in a boolean context is true and then using the not operator with that true is going to return false like this and you can test this by using other values also let's say null null in a boolean context is false using the not operator with that false would return true true also you can use this not operator as many times as you like so you can actually use it two three four five six seven eight nine ten and what happens is that the first one negates it the second one negates the negation the third one negates the negation it just keeps going true false true false true false but how you commonly find this used is two times so when you use it two times like this basically what you are doing here is converting a value to a boolean type and the other way you can convert a value to a boolean context is using the boolean constructor and passing the value so you can either use this to convert a value that is probably not a boolean to a boolean type or you can do this when you use two like this what happens like i said is that the value would be coerced to a boolean type if it is not already in a boolean type and then null coerced to a boolean type is false so this first operator ensures that type coercion and then it converts this false to true and then this second one the second not operator would convert it back to false so basically you have converted this null value to a boolean type and we can verify this if i run no test you can see this one returns false and this one also returns false let's try this with another value let's say we try with a string like hello if I run no test, you can see both of them return true. So this first operator ensures that this value is coerced to a boolean type before it is negated. And this one converted to a boolean type is true. After the negation, it becomes false. Then the second negation makes it true again. And you can see that it returns the same thing as this boolean value tree, true and true. So the not operator, like I said, is used to negate a value by converting it from one boolean value to the opposite boolean value. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like subscribe and also turn on notifications for more concept i will be simplifying in javascript